Hey there, Deep Inspiration happy here. Today I want to walk you through how you can set up your fry band with miner. Now, before I get into the tutorial, I want to show you shortly how you can get one of these miners. If you do not have one, just come to the fryfoundation.com website, navigate to the shop menu, and then you would see a list of fry miners that are available. Select the bandwidth miner, and then currently you see that it's being sold for $250, but I'm going to give you a discount code to even reduce this further down. Click on view details, and then select your plug that you would like to have depending on your location. So I'm in EU, I'm going to stick this to EU, and then just click on add to cuts and then this is where you get opportunity to be able to put in a discount code so currently you see that the price is 250 dollars click on enter a promo code paste in my promo code dp inspiration hub click on apply and then you see that the price reduces from 250 dollars to 162.5 so if you want to get one of these miners do not forget to use my discount code to even bring the price further down so to set a miner up all you have to do is to come to the fry foundation website go to hardware miner resources click on bandwidth miner and then download the application that we have here so now i'm in my downloads folder where the file is downloaded to just double click on the zip file and then double click on the file here to run the application now microsoft defender is going to warn you from running this application but if you are pretty sure that you downloaded the original software from the fry foundation website just click on more info and then run anyway now the bandwidth setup comes in a pack of softwares that we're going to be installing in the process so to begin just click on next we can leave everything as it is as a default click on next and then we see that the fry bandwidth data installation is in progress now the first application that we're going to install is called node.js just click on next here basically you can leave everything as a default accept the terms and conditions click on next 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 you do not need to check this because we do not need this click on next and then choose install now the installation here is complete just click on finish and then the installation is going to continue you're going to get this error here but don't worry just click on ok the second application that we're going to be installing is called 7zip so here just click on install to get this installed this is installed click on close and then when you're done just click on next it happens sometimes that you get this error i'm going to teach you quickly how we can fix this just click on ok click on next and the installer closes now navigate to the same folder that we downloaded the one that we used to install the application previously just double click to rerun the application that's what we're going to do is we're going to uninstall the application using the installer and install it again and then this should fix the issue that we would have but the team is also working on this to get this error fixed so it might be that by the time you'll be run installing your application we wouldn't have to go through this so here the same like we did before click on more info and run anyway and then you see we get this warning that the fire bandwidth data is already installed first in uninstall the old application that's what we want to do so just click on ok and then here go to next next to get the uninstallation of the software click on next and then click on finish now we're going to rerun the application just double click this again just like we did before click on more info and then run anyway and then click on next and next so what you would realize is that the two applications that we already install the node.js like i said it's going to be skipped because we already have this this error is still going to come but it's okay just click on okay and then it also skipped the seven zip installation because we had already done this so now the installation is complete click on next and then you see that we did not get an error anymore now what you're going to be doing here is we're going to put in the secret phrase of your algorand wallet now very very important like it states here do not put commas between the words just put a space so for instance the pin space test space music space do the same thing for all the 25 words that you have so here i have put in my secret phrase and all i have to do is to click on ok and then basically the installer is complete here just click on finish so now the next thing that we're going to do is to register the bandwidth miner that we just set up to do so just come to the fry foundation website come to hardware miner resources and then under registration you just come to bandwidth miner so what we're going to do here is basically to fill in the form put in your first and the last name your email address your algorand wallet and then your order number you're going to get the order number from the order confirmation that you received when you purchased that miner for the first time and then here very very important take a picture of your miner you can just do this with your phone click upload to upload the file check that you are not a robot and submit the application so after submitting the form you're going to get this confirmation that your miner has been registered and what is also important to mention here is that this can take up to three days before you start to see your first rewards but typically it comes in way faster than this what is also very important is that make sure that you have at least 10 hour grand in your wallet and then you have also opted for fry crypto this just means that adding fry crypto to your wallet so if your bandwidth miner is working you're usually gonna have a command prompt like this where basically it's performing a speed test and then also just um, uploading the speed test and stuff like that this is basically a check to make sure that your miner is online so it's more or less like a connectivity test what you would also see on your para wallet is that you would see periodic transactions i think every 30 minutes or every one hour you see that one transaction takes place usually this is zero 
book price so don't worry it's not going to take anything from your rewards and this is why it's also very very important to have this 10 hour grant in your wallet so that this connectivity check can go through so basically that's it about how to set up a fry bandwidth miner if you do have any questions you can also come to the fry discord channel the team there is very very active and can help you out with every issue that you would have thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one bye